Alright guys, this is the Thermal Right Ultra 120 Extreme, also known as a True. Uh, it comes in two different flavors. You can get the silver or the black. I'm going to be showing you guys the black one today. This is the box that it comes in, as you can see. Nothing fancy, just what you need to protect the heat sink. Let's open this up here. As you can see, it comes with your diagrams. Parts list. And something that is not included here is the thermal right case badge. But that does also come with this. Got a little piece here. And then here is your heat sink. Take this out, it'll be wrapped in a piece of plastic. All you gotta do is just pull it off. And there you go. Very nice quality. The bottom does need some work for all you guys who are uh, worried about that last degree and you overclock. It looks flat and it looks smooth, but if you take a closer look, which I can't get on this camera, there is a machine finish on there. So, I want to get a lap that, but you guys have 12 heat pipes here. This is the black finish. Um, quite heavy. I think it weighs somewhere around uh, 800 to 900 grams. And then you also have this, which is a accessory box. Which comes with all your, your other stuff for your heat sink for mounting and such. There you go. So let's open this up. Show you what's all in here, guys. Sealed. Sealed quite well. There we go. Alright, here we have the thermal paste, and I believe that these are the anti vibration pads for the yeah these are the anti-vibration pads I believe for the fans so that they don't vibrate then you have attachment screws with springs for AMD and Intel and you have your box of clips I don't really need to get those out. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. You got the back plate for LGA775. You have your um, socket 939, I believe 940, which is AM2 and AM. Um, pretty much all the AMD and Intel sockets, as far as I know, uh, 478 and 775. I'm sure this would fit on a skull trail too. Mod the uh, bracket a little bit. Alright guys, that is the review of the True Thermal Ride Ultra 120 Extreme. And uh, it's it's quite expensive, but the performance that you get, especially when you lap it, is just amazing. So anybody who's interested in overclocking or wants just really low temperatures in their case or in a hot environment, I would very much recommend this cooler here. As I said, you can get it in two different colors, the silver, which is the regular finish, and the black which I'm not sure, but I think this might be a limited edition. I think I saw somebody uh, comment that on one of the forums, but as you can see, the fins, the way they're shaped for airflow, and this can be mounted in any direction. It can be mounted like this, it can be mounted like this, um, any direction that you want it, whether you want it to go out the back of your case, at the top. So that is all on that guys um, have a great day I hope you enjoyed the review and um, check this out uh, oh one other thing you'll also need a 120 millimeter fan for this it does come with the brackets for the fan it comes with two one for either side little clips because this does not have a traditional mounting um, design and any fan that you use that does not have uh, I'm not sure if I have one available here, but we'll just use this as an example. 
Okay, if you look at this fan, see how this has a little opening here? What you'll have to do if you have a, a Silverstone fan like I do or a similar fan, I think some of the Cooler Master fans come like that, this part is filled in. It's just a straight hole through there. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take a Dremel and cut off those edges to fit the fan on there. So that's kind of a downside, but uh, like I said, there's a lot of other fans out there on the market, so you're not just limited to those. And like I said, it's kind of cool this way because they don't stick you with a fan that's, say, too loud or too quiet, like I can say on some of the older Thermaltake um, heat sinks that came with the 54 CFM fan, and that's really not powerful enough to push through those fins. If you look on here, I'm not sure if you, yeah, you guys can see through there a little bit. Yeah, see how you can see through? That's so airflow can get through there easily. So low speed fans, and this is ideal for a, a push pull set up here with fan on either side, but you'll have to buy uh, separate brackets for that. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot. I won't take any more of your time. You guys have a great day, and uh, please check this product out. A lot of stores online carry it. I'm sure you can get it at your local retailer. So, thanks a lot.